behind a far side cradle and I'll show a few different angles from my belly then from my knees but the biggest thing is I've got to stop that cross face from on here <laughs> if I feel the cross face like he's swinging for it I, I got to I need to look into it now don't actually look my face into it and break my nose I lean my head into it here and I keep this back in the way and then as soon as I can attack this now I'm good I can wrestle from here Okay, but that, that's the biggest thing is stopping. Maybe he's already got the cross face and I'm in trouble. I'm, I've got a fight here. If I turn this way and scoot away, that gets him a turk. Right, see that? Even if I post here, now he's got a cradle. But I, I've got to clear this first. Try to create space, head pressure right here. Try to get this other hand inside. Pop it off. See what I did? I got here and then I rotate it up. Pop that off. Catch that. Get on the other side. Don't give him a near side cradle. And then I can cut either way from here. All right? Same thing if I'm on my base. I feel him swinging for a far side cradle. I got to pressure into that. Attack the top hand. Inside. And stand up. I can either go that way. Or get here. Maybe I switch it to this side block. And I'm out here. Now, if I'm already beat, he's got me in a cradle. And he takes me over. I can take this foot and help it. Make sure it's on this side. So this leg is helping this one extend and kick straight as I'm attacking the hands and try to keep your shoulders off the mat. Break the grip. Get your belly. But once you're there, you're in trouble. Last thing from this series, we call it a Houdini. Uh, let's say he's, get over here, he's got me locked up, and then he's parallel. I take this hand, and I slide it between our bodies, right here. And then I post it this way. And I may need to redirect this way a little bit. And then post, I got a post, he'll roll me through. If I don't, he'll just roll me through. See this? He can roll me through, come back. Post. Turn, turn, turn. From here, I should be getting near fall right here. If not, I can try to break this here, extend the legs, or throw a half. That should break it. Finish your move. That's a good eating. Anyway, far side cradles or cross face cradles are excellent. They're hard to beat, but you have to be willing to meet that pressure of the cross face. Beat the cross face and that top hand, it takes away his cradle, at least that cradle. And that's it for countering a far side cradle. See you on our next video.